Hey, it's LEGO Technics Rule, and I am here with one of my greatest creations ever. The reason why it's so great is because it just works. It just works so, so well. Have you ever seen those automatic car dealers on Amazon? They're like $100. That's pretty dang expensive if you ask me. So I decided to make my own out of $200 in LEGO parts. <laughs> and let me say that this project was a massive success. It even rivals the speed of those commercial ones you can find on Amazon. Notice how the machine sucks back the second card after the first one gets launched. If it didn't do that, that little bit of error would build up over time and lead to the launch of an extra card every, say, six rounds or so. The gap that the cards are launched through is just thin enough to let one card pass through at a time. These 12 tooth bevel gears seem to fit perfectly in the slot found in these curved gear racks. So naturally, I put four of them on the base so it can spin freely on the gear racks. And the thing that actually moves the launcher around is this 36 tooth gear on the bottom. And here is the servo motor that turns that gear. This white dot tells the dealer when and where to stop so it stops in the same place every time so you don't have to keep spinning the thing around every time you use it. The black dot keeps the dealer in sync so each round of cards dealt does not drift away from each other. So each new round of cards will start there and you can actually see this. The GUI, if you could even call it that, was the hardest part to make by far. The vertical buttons will change the amount of players and the horizontal buttons will change the amount of cards. The maximum amount of players is 8 and if you exceed it, it just loops back around to 2. The same thing happens if you go below 2, but it loops back around to 8. But hold up, what happens if you try to tell the thing to deal more cards than there is in a deck? Well, watch this. That's right, it will automatically decrease the card count based on how many players you have it set to. It will also prevent you from increasing the amount of cards if the product of cards and players is greater than 52. So speaking of technical stuff, the program for this thing is actually pretty simple. It's actually not that bad. This top loop controls the motors. This second loop is the GUI and sets the card and player count. And all this third loop does is continuously refresh the LCD. Lastly, this is one of those builds that I made a tutorial for, and you can find the link to the instructions video in the description. Alright, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.